Welcome to Babies and Bones. I'm Dr. Nima. And I'm Dr. Kate. And today we're going to talk about side effects of cortisone shots in the knee. So osteoarthritis is the leading cause of disability in adults and affects over 50 million people in the United States. I know, I'm so smart. <laughs> the, knee, the knee is the most common source of dis disabling pain caused by arthritis. So today we're going to talk about cortisone injections in the knee. Are they safe? Do they work? What are the side effects, etc.? cetera? Um, so Nima, do they work? Yeah, so this is a, a hot topic. I get, this, I get this question all the time from patients, friends, and they do work. And the goal of a cortisone injection is to basically reduce inflammation and decrease pain. That's the entire point of it. <clears throat> okay, cool. And how often are they given? So they're given, um, it will actually de depends on age. We should break it down in two groups. In people who are older and who have uh, degeneration of their cartilage or arthritis, they're given up to three or four times a year. And it's basically trying to decrease their inflammation and allow them to have symptomatic relief. However, in patients who are younger, who are athletic and have very healthy cartilage, this isn't something that we give frequently. Occasionally, a physician will give it once. It can help with diagnosis and treatment, but it's not something we should give young patients very often. There are some laboratory studies that have shown it could have uh, a negative effect on cartilage. Although we haven't seen this in clinical studies, it's something that we worry about, so we make sure not to give it to younger people with healthy cartilage very often. Interesting. <clears throat> um, and how long do the injections last? So that's a great question, Kate. This is something patients ask all the time, and it's, it's frustrating to give them this answer because they don't really like it, but the truth is, it's an unknown time period. We don't know how long it lasts. And there's some evidence that shows that the injections can last about a week at the very least. And some evidence shows that it can maybe last up to six months. So somewhere in that range is how long they last, but we don't have a good answer and it's not reliable. And so a lot of patients don't like the idea of that. But what's important is that at times it can actually be helpful, not just in treating patients, but sometimes it can really be helpful in diagnosis for doctors. So the cortisone injection can be a useful tool, especially if you understand when and why to use it and on who. Right. So is there anyone specific who should not receive cortisone injections? I'm actually glad you brought that up. That's something that's important to know as well. If you have an allergy to cortisone, you should absolutely not use it. That makes sense. Yeah. If you have an active infection, so um, if there's something going on in your body where an, an additional injection can make it worse, you don't want to be using it. Um, if you have difficulty clotting, so having an injection can increase your bleeding risk, you don't want to be using it. Uh, people who have compromised skin uh, shouldn't use it. If you have broken bones, it, it may not be a good idea. If you have knee implants, for example, if you've had a knee replacement, you don't really want a cortisone shot in your knee because if you've got an infection, it can lead to a lot for, uh, more surgeries and problems. So it's some, something to keep in mind. Also, if someone has labile di uh, diabetes, it may not be a good idea. If it's uncontrolled, uh, the cortisone shot can actually bump up your sugar a little mm -hmm. bit. So we don't want to give that to someone with diabetes, or at least you want to make sure you know uh, what to do if your sugar goes up. <clears throat> Finally, in patients who are having knee replacements within three months, you don't want to give them the injection because it can increase their risk of infection. That's the group of people that would be best to avoid a uh, cortisone shot. Great. That's really helpful. Um, and then also, why we're here, side effects of cortisone shots. Um, so any <laughs> big side effects, adverse effects, like what are the big ones? Yeah, so this is the meat of our, of our talk today, right? Side effects of cortisone shots. So the first side effect that you, know, you occasionally see is basically a change in skin pigmentation. At the location of the shot, people will have a little bit of lightening of the, of the skin, for example, or, or darkening, um, depending on their skin tones. Uh, some people actually at that location also will develop atrophy. It'll kind of puncture in a little bit. The tissue will puncture in because they lose some fat in that area. Um, uh, additionally, some people have residual pain at that injection site. So they're going to get this injection to calm their knee down and it's supposed to decrease inflammation and help them with pain control. But sometimes they actually have an increase in pain and they have a residual uh, pain at that site and a flare up even. So that could be an adverse effect. Uh, some patients will have facial flushing. I've actually never seen that, but I know it can happen. The bump in blood sugar we briefly mentioned earlier. So it's important if you do have that injection, you monitor your blood sugar to make sure you don't have a, a large bump in that. And finally, the scariest risk for most patients is infection. The infection risk is low. It's basically about one out of 10,000 to one out of 50,000. So it's a very low risk overall, but it's definitely possible. 
Great. I think someone's trying to break into the Our house. Our little one's trying to break into the house. Um, that was really helpful. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about side effects of cortisone shots. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write them below. Um, let us know if we missed anything. Yeah, we miss things all the time, but it doesn't mean we don't know they exist. So please comment if we miss stuff. The whole point of this is for is to increase knowledge and, and start a discussion. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And thanks so much for watching. Click to subscribe below. Don't forget to like and comment. Your comments can guide us on what videos we make next.